Hey YouTube, what's going on? SciGuy29 coming at you here. It is Wednesday, January 6th, 2021. And after today, I decided it was time to do something a little more positive. Um, so I'm going to show some cards. I have some 71s. Uh, came in, I got, I don't know how many is even here, I don't remember. Nice little stack. Um, mostly Hall of Famers, Hall of Famers in my eyes anyway, and uh, just wanted to share them with you. Um, all these, once again, 99 cents or less, got to like that. They're not beautiful in the sense of I'm not going to grade them, but certainly good looking cards for my collection. So um, one of the things I really, the, with this group is got a lot of the leaders cards, and almost all of them have two if not all three Hall of Famers pictured so kind of cool first is a uh, home run leaders in the American League as you can see there we got Frank Howard Harmon Killebrew and Carl Yastrzemski uh, didn't realize till today just how good a year uh, Yaz had in 70 it was pretty good he had uh, hit 40 40 home runs uh, and we'll get to him a little bit more here too we have the National League strikeout leaders, Mr. Tom Seaver, Fergie Jenkins, and Bob Gibson. Good looking card there. Just like the way it's set off. Uh, Seaver led with 283, Gibson and Jenkins tied with 274. Gaylord Perry was fourth that year, all the way down at 214. Next, a card that I've been wanting for a long time is. Louis Tiant in his twins uniform. I just love this card. I just love the look on his face. Uh, obviously, most people remember him for his time with the Red Sox, but love this look. Love the love the picture. Now next, we have the aforementioned Gaylord Perry. Off center, left, right, obviously. Top to bottom a little bit, but a good-looking card. There's the back for those that haven't seen that. As you can tell, there's still a little bit of shine on the front because of the glare you might be getting, but just a good-looking card all the way around. One of the better-looking cards, I think, for Gaylord Perry. He doesn't, so many of the 60s cards, he just has this goofy butt look on his face that I, I, it drove me crazy. Uh, next, we have Mr. Willie McCovey. Big, powerful guy. Played for the Giants, mostly. A few other teams later in his career. But uh, love love the McCovey card. Uh, next, we have a personal favorite of mine, Mr. Jim Cott. Great pitcher for my Minnesota Twins in their heyday. Uh, this next card is one as I was looking through getting ready for this video that um, I looked at the top and who was the American League batting champ in 70. And... It was someone I'd never heard of before. I got to be honest. And if I had, it didn't ring a bell. And that's Mr. Alex Johnson, uh, pictured with Tony Oliva and Yastrzemski. Now, earlier I said Yastrzemski hit 40 home runs. He also hit uh, 329 that year. Finished second uh, by like three tenths of a point to Alex Johnson. Now, Alex Johnson was a career 288 hitter, I believe, when I looked. Um, but was probably most known for his tumultuous time with several teams. I don't think he ever spent more than two years with any team. Um, here he's playing for the Angels when he won the batting title. It was only one of two years with that. Played later after that for the Yankees, I know. Uh, and the Tigers ended up living in Detroit. Uh, really had kind of a rough go of it. Uh, kind of had issues with teammates and managers no matter where he was from best I could tell. Um, sounds like very big hearted, especially to kids outside of the game, but uh, had a lot of issues uh, inside the clubhouse to the point where I had a teammate who was his, the godfather of his daughter pulled a gun on him outside the clubhouse uh, in LA, which I find just absolutely amazing. But uh, nonetheless, there's he also had a brother, did Alex Johnson, that was a thousand yard rusher for the New York Giants. Did not know that. So learn something new each and every day. Uh, next, the next we're going to feature another guy that had a pretty darn good year in 1970. And that is Mr. Johnny Bench. 
Okay, this is the RBI leader card. He led with 148 that year. A couple other Hall of Famers on the card with Billy Williams and Tony Perez. The next card is the National League Home Run Leaders, in which we see Mr. Bench again. And he led with 45 that year. So uh, Billy Williams at 42 and Tony Perez. All three of those guys had pretty darn good, good seasons, obviously. Uh, next, we have the National League Pitching Leaders. A few guys you might recognize. Love the Bob Gibson there. Uh, had 23 wins that year, as did Gaylord Perry. And Fergie had 22. I can tell because it's on the back of the card. So that's what I was looking at. Um, next, we have Gil Hodges and his manager card with the Mets. Uh, follow that up with a the ageless Hoyt Wilhelm here with the Cubs. Uh, speaking of the Cubs, we have Mr. Fergie Jenkins. And another one of my favorites, Mr. Tony Oliva. I know I've said it a couple times in other videos, but uh, the more I hear about Tony O, uh, the more I want to know uh, just what a great teammate he was. Uh, interview with Rod Carew and, and the things Rod Carew had to say about him, uh, just unbelievable. I've never heard anybody say any ba anything bad about Tony Oliva, and uh, just love the guy for that. Uh, last but certainly not least, might be the roughest card of all of them I got, but uh, Mr. Juan Marichal with the San Francisco Giants. Um, great player, great pitcher uh, for many a year with the Giants. So hope everyone is safe. Hope everyone uh, is, is being positive and, and thinking positive thoughts. Uh, it's certainly needed at this time. I know uh, going to school tomorrow is going to be a different uh, day. Uh, I teach third grade, for those that don't know, and I know some of the conversations that are going to be had. Um, I have a couple of students who every day since the end of September have worn a Trump 2020 mask. I'm not saying one way or the other, right, wrong, indifferent. I just know I'm going to have some kids with some very uh, big feelings because they have parents that are going to have shown some very, very big feelings uh, today and tonight. So just wanted to get off that for a little bit. Uh, good to see everyone. And remember, collect what you love, love what you collect.